Swecky. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance, but the translation isn't quite working. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Achaka. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. So, where do you hail from? Achaka. I see. Sounds exotic. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Really unearthed the treasure that was within. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Every woman's dream? Well, you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love. Yeah. Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... Uh, you are... You're... Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Yes, have you remembered my name? Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Here he comes. What do you want? What was your name again, Sir Fatso? Uh, it's Acorn. Get it right or pay the price. I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. I'll leave you be. Go away. It bared its t Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrogant are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? I'm good. Thanks, Manny. 
Goodbye. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Now, uh, give me a little more time to mingle. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. A chaka. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Whisper. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? A uh, pork chop, a rack of minotaur, sprig and roast, anything that holds butter, really. <sighs> How many did I get right? Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got two answers correct. Why don't you go and mingle? Gather some more fun facts about your fellow competitors. Return to me when you're ready to take the test again. Unveiled itself. It bared its teeth in a... Yes? Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third, hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it, free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go. Whisper can do it. That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. Did you hear the crowds? They all cheer for me. <laughs> they love me. Mm. Okay. I'm... You again? Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name? is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. A Chaka. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. III of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. 
As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh, over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theatre, dum 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 one eye of a hideous beast. And, due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. There are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. Whisper! Mm. Ooh. Whisper can do it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Watch your step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies, which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. Is that way? Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel book. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder. Me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. Did you find an eye? Shame. And these could have been carved into really nice jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> that pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. <laughs> of course, the one good pumpkin had to be guarded by squirrels. A new kind of horn, but the same result. Wherever you are, 
hideous beasts, Whisper will find you. I was too slow to catch those frogs. Pick, pick, pickety pick. I have to get these all picked before I can go home. Leave me be so I can finish my work. Oh, how precious. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. Dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Hey, Graham, if you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor, my bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. the delivery boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, hush feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He appears to be a compassionate gentleman, but he is clearly out of his convent zone. He is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart if he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, 
there was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> Uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. He reminds me of our son. <sighs> it looked like some type of broken lantern. What are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kinda like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. He reminds me... Coming. Sorry for all the locks. There's a running around town. Well, hello there. Usually I'd say good afternoon, but it's been quite rough around here. The bridges are all out, my supplier has gone missing, and when I was at the parade, someone stole my big loaf of bread. Oh, uh, uh, you haven't seen anyone running around with a big piece of sourdough, have you? Well, um, about that, uh, I kind of, sort of, borrowed it. A, a man was stranded and needed help. No one seemed to be around to pay. I didn't know what to do. I'm sorry. Well, you can always leave a tip on the counter. That does make me feel better, though. Honesty is a virtue I admire. I'm just glad I don't have to lock the door anymore. Tell you what, buy a pie from me, and we'll be square as a napkin. Yes, lad? Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want! How do I get my free sample? Well, bring me some bitter root. It's what I need to finish my walnut strudel. It grows under big, heavy rocks. That's not a delicious, chocolate, hideous beast's eye cake I smell cooking, is it? Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fays weren't raised that way. It's archaic! So much fighting and needless killing! Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food! If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie! You look like a compassionate fella, uh, like myself. And I think we're going to get along right as raisins. Uh, please, don't take part in the violence. What's today special? <laughs> oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered, and I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, tell you what, if you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. So 
where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I'll also need one gold coin. But which ingredient? The starberries. They are yellow and uh, tend to grow high on trees in sunny areas. The sugar shrooms. They are pink and only grow in cold, dark areas. Never mind. Good day. Have a sweet time. Kitty, kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty!